Guys, we have a new contender in the power station segment. This thing will do damage. Check this out. This is a beast with a few very interesting, never seen before features like the e-ink display right here and also solar panels, integrated solar panels on top. And it features semi-solid cells. Tech is moving forward. This thing has it all. It has a massive capacity of 3,600 watt hours. You would not expect this from this form factor. Never. Usually this form factor has two and this has almost doubled it. It's crazy. It has an equally massive power output as well, but it only weighs around 24 kilograms. So yeah, a port able beast basically. And yeah, it's, it is way smaller than all the competitors with the same capacity. As I said, news tech in there. I'm super excited, but let's see if it's just hype or if it is actually groundbreaking new inventions right there. Got the new drip from Fox Theon, the iGo 3600 power station. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. Yeah, now let's check it out. So here we have the box. It's pretty huge. Then we also have this side. The other side is similar. And right here we have the contents of the box. And this will just fold up. Oh yeah, not to forget this came in another box, box in a box, ultimate protection, really nice padding as well as you can see and on top we have the first bag with accessories, big padding right there. Here we already have it. Oh, it's actually smaller than expected. This is looking really portable and it also comes with the carrying bag. There it is, a really nice carrying bag. This is a really nice bag. Looks super stable and well refined, like some sort of a vinyl, definitely water resistant. Love it. Massive zipper as well. And let's see. So up here, I think these are bags for, for the batteries, if you want them protected against water. And in here we have it. That is a beast. But for the capacity, it is actually surprisingly small. Wow, this is looking really cool with the panels on top. All right, let's move on to the accessories and the manual. So let's start with the carrying case. As I said, it also has a very cushy and thick wall, really nice fabric. It's not a fabric, it's like some sort of a water resistant vinyl layer. And we also have the carrying handles on the sides and also these mounting options for the strap. Same for the top, for the lid. Very, very stable and amazing carrying case. And then we also get two of these pouches right there, either for the accessories or for the batteries. If you want to carry them separately, I think, then you carry them like that to make the whole, well, make the carrying bag lighter. Amazing concept, I have to say. And lastly, we have this smaller pouch and mainly for all the accessories, cables and for the manual. So this pouch as well, really nice. So we will get this cable with the car adapter and this, most brands go with the XT plugs, but this one has the, these other ones, different plugs right there. Then we have the same, but in reverse, so that you can actually plug in 12 volt devices that you can use in the car. Then also a dedicated vehicle car battery recharging cable, really cool. And of course, a regular cable for the AC charging. And lastly, let's check out the manual. So we have the QC confirmation and here we have the manual. Extremely detailed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and the back. Really nice extensive manual. Done with the unboxing, let's get to my first impressions and then to a close overview. So here we go. This has quite an interesting look to it. There are many protective films on there, so let's remove all of them. For the screen. Oh, the e ink display, so cool. Battery trays and another one for the AC switch. There we go. Pool, but how can I unlock them? So you can't eject them when it's not turned on. It's such a cool concept. And for the capacity, it's just so small. Yeah, let's just take a close look. So we have the left side with all the details and the specs. The design is so cool. Carrying handle as well. And then on the other side, we have details about the manufacturer and also this. And we can see the inserts right here. And this is also for an extension module, I think. A really nice modular concept. It's amazing. Anyways, on the back, we have the brand. Also the fans, the top with the panel. So it's 
basically covering the whole top right here. I love this idea. This is for maintaining the batteries just from passive lighting. That's enough. That is genius. And then we also have the bottom for nice rubber feet. Then also this, these ribs, that's the design basically pretty cool. And inside here, maybe you can see it a bit, we, we have this carbon look, pretty dope. And lastly, we of course have the front side with the two battery modules and each of them has two USB-A and one USB-C out, so you can use them separately. You don't need to bring the whole thing if you just need to, well, if you just want one module. We have four AC outs, then we have the AC input right here underneath this flap and also DC input and DC output for solar charging of course so let's see power game changer e-ink display how cool is that all right there we go so let's see oh there we go ac switch ac on waiting turn it off it's off we also have two fans in the front and they just powered on very silent wow so double press and then ac switch whoa and now we can pull it out Ooh, that's it. that's the thing. So the bottom of the module, the sides, and then this on the back, and we can also stand it up. It has four rubber feet, and here we have the specs as well. And right here, we also have a, a status indicator. Four segments, so nice. And yes, this is actually the correct form factor. These pouches are for the battery modules, if you want to carry them separately. And inserting them, let's see. Ah, okay. Inserting them will work all the time, but you need to actually eject them. Okay, and can we eject both? We actually can eject both. This is genius. I think it's now getting powered by the, by the panels on the top. So ejecting both is also no problem at all. Let's push them back in. Just like that. Wow, this is amazing. Good stuff. Now let me tell you all about the specs and the features. Most importantly, for the form factor, it has a massive capacity, 3,600 watt hours and an output and power output of over 3,000 watts, 3,200 watts. And that basically means it can power basically over 99% of all the electrical appliances out there and that for a very long time. Also with the IPX5 protective cover, it is not only super portable, it's also weather and yeah, weather resistant, water resistant and bringing it outdoors with you wherever you go is a no problem whatsoever. Secondly, as we already saw, it has a modular design so you can detach the batteries, carry them separately, bring them separately. They can be used independently and one segment, one module has 1800 watt hours, which is crazy for this little box. Mind blowing. Number three, as I said, in here are semi-solid cells. World leading tech right there. They have 42% more capacity than standard lithium batteries, while also providing better stability and improved safety. It's smaller, it has more capacity, less safety risks. Amazing. Advanced BMS in there, batteries will last 10 years and more. All that good stuff. Number four, charging this from zero to 80% will only take one hour. That is absolutely mind-blowing. Your wall outlets will literally melt. <laughs> It's that fast and the full charge will only take two hours and aside from AC charging it can of course also be charged with 12 volt car power or solar power. Number five it also has an integrated power backup safety switch in there. Well you can basically hook it up to your grid and when there is a blackout a power outage the UPS auto switch will activate in just 20 milliseconds and restore the power and that is fast enough that your PC or other electrical highly sensitive electrical appliances will not crash. So this is also great against data loss, damage against files, corruption of files, it's just, it, it can do it all basically. Number six, they call it glimmer protection. And what that means is, as I said, as you saw, it has two panels, basically two segments on top and just with a passive lighting with the glimmer, that's enough, that is actually generating enough power to sustain and keep the cells alive when you, for example, store the power bank the power station for a long time. Absolutely genius. And lastly, number seven, the e-ink display right here. Absolutely beautiful, no more screen glare. This is the first outdoor power station that uses an e-ink display. Absolutely genius. Always on features. It's genius, genius. So yeah, not bad, right? So let's finally test it. So I don't think that I will need these. I, will, I won't take them with me, but I will definitely need this. So just like that. Let's close it up. And now I need the carrying strap, which was in the other bag. 
This is so crazy. Almost four kilowatt hours in this tiny box. And it's, it's not even that heavy. So, check this out. Let's go. So, carrying it like that is actually quite easy. And this power bank, this power station is actually just what I need. Look at that, easy. Because I have a big project, as you can see, I completely wrecked my car once again. I'm in the driveway of my bro. And so that I don't need to steal his electricity, I brought the bag. And this is actually the first power station. Lightweight, baby. Lightweight, baby. Let's go. This is actually the first power station that will also allow me to use a pressure washer because a pressure washer will need around 2,500 watts. And this thing can do it. Bro, check this out. New power station. Yeah, let's grab it. So, so let's see, let's give it a little test. So check it out, three tests. First of all, angle grinder, 700 watts. Then we have the vacuum with around 1,200. And then we have the pressure washer with 2,000 plus. So let's go. Let's turn it on. Okay, we're only at 45% of charge level, but this should still be plenty. So let's turn on the AC. This is what it looks like. And now, actually let's start with the vacuum. Yep, so vacuum is no problem whatsoever. Let's try the angle grinder. No problem. So let's actually get to work. Now, let's get to it. Time for the pressure washer. Let's go. Yeah, buddy. So let's see. Oh yeah, baby. Tons of hours with the angle grinder, a good four hours, five hours with the vacuum and one and a half hours with the pressure washer. But again, we're only at 40% charge level. This thing is the best. What is that? Oh my goodness. I'm literally so dumb. <laughs> oh my God. Bird poop is the worst. I waited too long with removing these. But yeah, I think you get the point. Massively powerful power station right there. So this should easily make it possible for me to use all sorts of power tools to remove the bumper and all the other parts, exchange them. So there should be no problem. And I can even clean the car with the pressure washer. How cool is that? And again, it's super portable, quite light for the massive capacity. Love the display and the panels on top. Really cool new inventions right there or new implementations of already existing tech. So yeah, big thumbs up from my side for sure. So since I already went through all the amazing features and specs of this thing, I won't go through them in detail once again, but damn son, it is modular too. You can just pull out the inserts. It is such a cool concept all in all. And if you're not using it, if you're just storing it, it will survive on its own thanks to the built-in solar panels on top. Of course, they're a bit small for actually recharging it in a meaningful time, but for the use case, for the intended use case, absolutely genius. Skipping the system alive, keeping the batteries well maintained. It's just an amazing idea. What's also genius is of course the e-ink display. If you're a regular viewer, you will know that I already tested and reviewed quite a lot of power banks and screen glare is indeed a problem, especially while filming them. Yeah, and the iGo fixed that. No more screen glare and it is also a an always on display. Zero energy usage. You know, it will only use energy when there is actually a state change. So it's super energy efficient as well. So Fox Theon introduced some new and cool concepts and ideas to this tech segment, to say the least. And I hope that other brands will take notice. Well, they probably will, because as I said, this is a beast and this will do damage in this segment. Yeah, and I hope that other brands will maybe implement some of these features too. Massive, massive thumbs up from my side. This thing is something else and definitely trippy. Check out the product links in the description. If you're interested, I will list a link, the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing Tech Magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy it and I will see you soon.